like my ladies from the 80s. These are the Korean barbecue edition wheels. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. SEMA 2018, and this time they gave us a booth with all these people. They're crazy. Here's the beginning of the one hour special. Enjoy. I almost died this week. Soft mints are like that budget candy that you buy a lot of to make it look like you have a lot of Halloween candy to give, but you just want to look like you're balling. Uh, see, I feel like you have like a, I feel like you've had a bad experience getting duped on yeah. Halloween candy, yeah. but these are great. And they're like, I'm leaving the restaurant. I want to get my breath clean. Oh man, Andy's mints. Like the, the half chocolate, half mint. Is that the them. green? Yeah, 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 with the green stripe, yeah. This is the content you watch. Alright, so we're gonna check out my favorite car of SEMA. You wouldn't expect this because it's a Nissan. My boys back home in Florida and Juku Racing, they built Adam LZ's S15 and it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This thing is beautiful. It's nice. So it's basically, it's an S15 full vertex kit, two Jay-Z, fully built, crazy Garrett. Shout out to our boys Garrett. Carbon fiber roof skin. That is detachable for convertible feels. You serious? Yes, yeah, so race car with a drop top or a target top. The cage in this is gnarly. And I'm gonna go ahead and open there because I know Adam would let me. Just look at this. Wow, dude. This is really nice. The and dashboard is sick. Sequential, Samsonis, beautiful, beautiful dash. Nice seats, this cage work is bananas. The wheels, 
have a rainbow flip to them. Yeah, they're pretty. And he's fitted. He's fitted. He's probably got like wise rab or something, so it's a little pokey. But he's doing better, most better than most FD guys. So mm -hmm. this car is just beautiful. And it's nice that everything's held on with Zeus tabs. So Rear mount. All yeah. Comes off so quickly. All comes off nice and easy. Rear mount. I like these these cut windows with the ducting like that. So it's all super smooth it's and clean. Really, it's really clear, man. Yeah. Well done. Too. Yeah. Nah, man, the boys at Injuga Racing have been building S chassis for 20 plus Ever. years now. Forever. Yeah, competition level, they've always been on it. Dang, this is even sweet. The mesh, the mesh grill, so smoke can come out of here. I see a winner's quick that change. That grill will probably be for the, uh, the radiator. Yeah, so, radi well, yeah, that and to get smoke out. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll just hang out in the trunk. Carbon fiber trunk. Nice work, Adam. Y'all killed it. Big baller, man. This is a big boy car. Just so, you know, if it's a nice day out, pop the top. Pop the top. I would pop the hood, but I'll just cut the footage that we get later because I don't want to touch Adam's car too much. Just look at it. Oh, and there's the one JS2000. Woo! <laughs> Gucci? Gucci. It's like Gucci. Oh, Look at those. Yo, you know what these are? These are the Korean barbecue edition wheels. <laughs> Dude, wow. I'm so hyped. Whoa. Oh, now I'm hungry. Whoa. Yo, they each one's better than the next. Yo, wait, are these steering wheels? How yeah. are we not getting a Rucci forged steering wheel? Yo, Yo Rucci, holler at us. Yo, what's the on these? <laughs> I mean, if I haven't found the wheel for this the is, JZX, these, yo, how do you show. Mount this? These are the these are the <laughs> Canal <laughs> Street. <laughs> these are the Canal Street of wheels. This is straight up Canal Street yo, wheels. How do you oh, mount this? Man. I'm not gonna front this steering wheel in shit car. Be kind of nice. <laughs> Some chop your fingers off. Yeah. Yeah. You get caught up in that. Here, Dan. Look at look at this thing. It's like a 32. Whoa. That's how you got that modded bumper. Damn. Look how big that thing is, dude. It's 3, massive. 3,200 horsepower from a Pro Charger Supercharger. Allen Johnson Racing did the engine. Just monster, monster car. It's built for no prep kings, like a D Discovery Street Outlaws type show. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to do three seconds in the eighth. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's ridiculous. Get look inside, how, get inside. Get look inside how far, look how set, far set back it is. It's, like, it's a tube yes. car though. 100% tube car. Completely. Wow, the Dude. Look amazing. That's yeah, right? wild. Full carbon fiber interior. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Wow, look it is. The, look at the monster gas pedal. Look at the throttle. Thr it's yes. just crazy. It's got the hook on it so you don't lose your yep, foot off exactly. of it. It's all full send. Whoa. Dude. Yeah, this is a this is a race car. Go get in the back. We're going, dog. Look I'm saying the tires. 34 inch Goodyear's. Well, you need you got double shoots because you're going fit. Because you need to slow down. You need all the shoots. You need them all. <laughs> yeah, look at those. These are monster meats. Four inch Goodyears. Monster meats. Look, there's barely a rear end in here, guys. I it's know. literally like the axles are like three inches long. It's just it's just tire <sighs> pumpkin. Yeah. Wow. Not gonna lie. This is like you go real fast. You need all the shoots. You need and, all the and tire. By the way, race car, super well done. Yeah. And just and he built it to a high level, but then he's just gonna like go th three seconds in the eighth, you know? That's wild. That is wild. 
I wish it wasn't on air, but I really like it. It's on air? Yeah. It's not really that low for air. I'm pretty sure it's on air because it was oh, super jacked It's before. a nice setup. It's, it's got a, a paddle, paddle shift. shift. Paddle shift? Yeah, it's DSG. Uh, uh, it's probably a regular automatic if it's a 370 engine. Wait, what the hell engine is this? That's a BMW. It's a BMW. No, it's a S65. Dude, this is so much cooler than I thought it was. When I bre when I breezed past it before, I thought it was a uh, what was a VK. Yeah. But it's actually an S65, so it's a uh, oh without the cover right. over the runners. So this is a, that's the M5 V10. This is an M5 V10. Wow. That makes it way cooler. Wow. That makes, that, this is way sicker now. So this is it's factory thro individual throttle bodies. Factory with just, individual like, throttle. On it. Factory individual throttle bodies with trumpets, V10, revs to 8,500 RPM. And sounds like the apocalypse. That's sick. I bet it's on bags because the sump is so low. Is it does sick? look like it sits super low in the engine. And look how far back they've got it too. Dude, the steering. Yeah, that's actually a really interesting point is like, look, the, the entire engine is, bo is, is behind, behind the, uh, the strut yeah. towers. That's crazy. It's almost dropping subframe. I like that they did a. Uh, uh, they the, did the Fair Lady M badge. <laughs> Look at this though. They did a narrow. This is either oh, an E60 M5 dash or like a 330 E90 dash with the center console too. It slightly looks like the Z4 dash. Yeah, that's really. Wow, this is super unique. Yeah. Okay, so this car went from being really mediocre to to something really cool. It it awesome. By the way, trend, trend report this year. Kirkies. Yeah. Everybody's Kirkies. running Kirkies really all of a sudden. Kirkies back. We've been running Kirkies in shark cart forever. Yeah, and hating it, driving <laughs> it in a parking lot. All right, cool. Well, this car moved up like 20 notches on my scale. <laughs> this is sick. like the greatest donk there's ever been. So I kind of want to build a 2JZ super powered donk that is on a four x four chassis. Why? I don't have a good reason. I just think it would be the greatest culmination of things that shouldn't be happening at one time. 2J all day, right? That's that's my way of life. I would build a 2J donk that is on what a year? custom. I, I'll be honest, the, the Caprice is with the circular headlights are a lot better than the square, so you gotta go 75, but if you can do that a true, one- A true donk is 70, 75. I would, do, I would do like a 74 and then chrome the nose. Ooh, that's a good like move. Like Trick yeah. Daddy, yeah. Yeah, cause yeah, yeah, Trick yeah. love the kids. Something about yellow Hondas with the red badge is just just always feels right to am me. I, am I a, am I a ricer for really liking yellow on bronze wheels? Because I think that that's like the dopest color. Yeah, combo. that's a good color combo. Oh. What? Ring drive. What? Huh? Don't look. That's the brake caliper right there. It's gear driven off the inside. So really, the they took something as simple as a wheel. And, and just they added way more shit to brake. So they reinvented the wheel. Oh wait, no. It's it's like an all-wheel drive system. What? What? Yo, that is crazy. Can we read about this for a sec? Unsprung weight. <laughs> Explain hurt. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. What am I looking at? Dude, it's an all-wheel drive system for a front-wheel drive car. It's electric powered. Look, here's the motor on the back. That drives the ring gear. How is that motor big enough to like... I don't know. 100, testing a Honda Civic Type R with 100 horsepower E-nitrous all-wheel drive. I feel like we gotta try this. What? Can we put this on... What? Put this on the, the front of shark car. No, the Saturn. Oh, that's it. The Saturn gets an upgrade. So wait, so these would make more power than the front <laughs> yes. engine of the Saturn. Perfect. Oh yeah, they have them right here. Yo, that is crazy. Wow, it looks even crazier in that setup there. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Yo, and it's got red interior. Yellow <laughs> car, bronze wheels, red interior. So hot. Into all of this. All wheel drive. Mind blowing new technology displayed. <laughs> Oh my God, it's yellow with red badges and red interior. Stoked. Vinny stoked. I never knew you had so much ricer in you. Yeah, yeah. Four I mean, cause like this is, I don't even understand how this works. I'm I don't either. Up in it, you know? We'll come back tomorrow. Wait, is they, do they have like a demo thing here? Yeah, I'm sure they left it on overnight, Brian. You never know, man. <laughs> oh, oh Vinny. Vinny. Jesus Christ. 
But you're the one messing around. <laughs> you're the one who broke it. Dude, that's the capacitor. I don't actually know that. <sighs> Hold this. Oh, there's already hot cool on here. This yeah, is already yeah. broken once. It's already broken. Someone else did what I did. Sorry, guys. But we just gave you free publicity, so you're all good. Hi, internet. Hello. What's in that cup? Oh, wait, it's, we can't. It's, it's fruit punch. This is, this is my vitamin water. Yeah. This is my vitamin water to Sunny get to the the show. I'm here to tell you about my pick of the show, which is this. Rod Nielsen's R100. Super crazy, super custom, super JDM, super everything. This thing's nuts. Let's go see it. flares this gold here is actually Cerakote this is Cerakote oh like gun type stuff yeah it's cracking a little bit because it is a driver so he has gotten rowdy with it uh, look right here seven stock last year ran it at seven stock tried to bring it to SEMA apparently couldn't make it across the border I thought there was another border you're not supposed to cross but couldn't get couldn't get over the Canadian border brought it in anyways brought it in this year first year at SEMA show Custom flares, can't get under the hood, but it's a 20B with a massive the Borg Warner, just a massive single slug, right? Just, I have a photo of it, we'll put, insert it. It's a yeah, yeah, rotor. you know. 750 horsepower, 20B three rotor, massive Borg Warner, single turbo. I don't know the gearbox offhand, but check the transmission tunnel, Chase. There is no None. transmission tunnel, it's a cup holder for his There's no box. floors. There's no floors on this, no transmission tunnel. Everything is machined, everything is, look at that. Sequential sequential shifters too. Nuts, 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 nuts. Wow. Everything about this car is crazy. The piece de resistance on this car, yes, I said piece de resistance. Get down, yeah. get down, get down. I'm get getting down, down. I'm down. Damn. This thing is a dually. It's a dually, custom made rear wheels, 16 by 16 rear wheels with two tires on each one, but they share the same air. I don't know how he does it. It's patent pending, Rod, Hot Rod's Resto, supposedly gonna be doing it, so Hot Rod's Restos. I love Rod, I love this car, I love everything about this. This is your favorite car. This is team. my favorite car. Seems That's it, it possibly Prove in the- Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong, internet.
want you guys to appreciate Vinny's phone steez right now. Look at that, so stylish. Ah, uh, elbows out. Alright, so I met these kids earlier today, and it's a group of kids who built this car that's super rad, and uh, they have no idea, but I, I, like their story made me want to pick this as my favorite car, so I'm just gonna roll up on them unexpected. Yo, what's up, dudes? Howdy, howdy. Yo, yo. So we're doing a little thing for our, our favorite car is a SEMA. All right. And after I talked to you guys earlier, this thing rules, so I picked this one. So awesome, you want to just man. give us a quick little walk around of it? We, uh, yeah. Some closed deck, closed deck block, all aluminum, forged rotating assembly, oh. twin turbo. Other things that make this like entirely special and why it's really hard to swap, uh, direct injection, Vanos, which most guys, BMW guys are familiar with. Yeah, but the N54 oh, had all that crap too. I know, too. but you know, okay, okay. Same. <laughs> uh, but it's also got Valtronic, so you know, it doesn't use a throttle body. Mm. It actually has con like constantly variable valve lift instead of a throttle body, which is why it makes full torque right off idle. Nice, that's uh, pretty sick. All those things combined with a variable electronic oil pump is why you can't just throw an aftermarket ECU and run this thing on standalone, which makes it impossible to swap. So in order to swap this thing, we had to get an entire F80 motor entire F80 chassis and swap in all the F80 electronics and make the car think it's an F80. Yeah. The computer thinks like wheel speed sensors, everything, and it thinks it's an F80. Okay. And that's why it runs. So what was the inspiration on the build? No what one had been there? able to accomplish we this. So we were like, let's be, be stupid. <laughs> it's a DTM era car, right? All DTM era aesthetics, but with a slight modern twist and a motor this modern. So everything in the interior is something you could have gotten from BMW in 1988, but we slightly improved it. So there are some rare models where you could have got a leather dash, some rare models where you could have gotten leather door cards, some rare models where you could have gotten like a leather center console. So we did all of that, but instead of doing it in like cheap bison leather, we did it in what BMW uses now, Napa leather. Uh, when it comes to the drivetrain, uh, we use the S55 out of the F80. Uh, when it comes to the wheels and tires, over here. So we contacted Forge Line. We had them made us a wheel that is like error correct, but has some modern finishes, contoured edges, slightly sticks out, but still center lock. The original E30 DTM cars, you know, ran AP racing brakes. They were great, but they're just giant chunks of aluminum. So we uh, contacted AP Racing, told S6 Parts what we were doing, and you know, they gave us a set of. AP Racing calipers, which are absolutely enormous. Well, yeah, this thing's sick, man. We just wanted to stop by and check it out, because yeah. like, after I met you guys earlier today, I just thought the story was really cool, yeah. so I thought it was a pretty rad car. Because so, so, yeah. yeah. like, I love the way it looked anyways. Like, I thought it was a really great looking car, but the story behind it's, it uh, makes it for me, so. DTM and a super. Good job, guys. Thank you. Nice work. What do we got going on here? Well, good afternoon. We are here in BFG's tent, BFG's nicest garage they've ever given us to help finish and prep for the Baja. And I do mean prep, because we kind of threw it together and now we're taking it apart and putting it back together. So thank you, What you, you got to do with race cars? Oh, absolutely. It's never final completion. There's always the break and fix. So again, I'm going to say it, BFG gave us a great place to work. Great this is kind of nicer than, uh, than our shop. Three Cause, times. Because you have photos shop. of what the shop looks like. And then you actually have real nice stuff over here. I'll talk to the camera guy that's really paid high. Hey, we should do something like this. <laughs> <laughs> we should get out of the scumbaggery and get into the nice stuff. So, so far, as you guys remember, we stripped this down to a shell. It was nothing. It was released on last Tuesday. And in between then and now, we got a cage in it. We got suspension in it. We got a motor and tranny in it. And it actually started. Now, does it run or drive? Probably not. Ryan is very familiar with this. So <laughs> we're trying to step out of the Scotto stage, and by Friday, we're going to run and drive her. So, and Sounds good. I will never have great tips. Put that on the books. Yeah, we'll see no about that. Great tips. We'll see about that. And they're yellow, by the way. Yellow. <laughs>
This is fire. This thing is awesome. Subtle, subtle changes on this one. I talked to Jonathan Goolsby, the builder for Goolsby Custom about this. Moved the front wheelbase out. Moved the rear wheelbase out. It looks factory, but it's not. Bender's wide. Hood lengthened. Oh, really? Pal short. So it's Every, fully, everything's been touched. It's fully been touched, but it doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't. It still looks like a duster. Just look at also, look at the interior. Just no, it's, I it's saw it briefly. Interior. It is it is beautiful. It's very much of the era. It's got the pistol grip shifter still in it. It's three pedals. The best part, chrome roll cage. It's of the era. Yes. It's of the era. Best part is I actually met the owner's son after one of our um, Endless Summer Shred shows, and this was his mom's car. She drag raced back in the day. And he says that she might take it back out and start ripping on it again. How about She's this had this car since the day, first day, day one. How about this one? Oh, oh man, geez. I just realized this. Subtle gradients of oh, color. Really, right? Oh and my that, gosh. Did you see also look the duster emblem on the front fender? Yeah. Yep. Goolsby. Not even duster, but to the same font. This touches that these guys do that Goolsby's customs do is amazing. Because I saw him. OG, remember the OG dealer? Yeah. The, the young kids won't know, but yes, that, but it's Goolsby's customs like it's a car dealership. Like it's an old school Mopar dealership. I got it. Oh, underneath oh the super my gosh. It's a driver, so in terms of building. Builder cars, it's not. It's as clean dude. As it can be, are you talking? Have you seen this? Have yeah, you looked? I have, I have. It's the gas tank and the frame is color matched to the inside of the fenders. Are you kidding me? That is bananas. That's a level of detail that you, maybe you, but I will probably never ever get I know. through. So, that thing's beautiful. Life I judge show cars. It's a world. Yeah, this thing is sick. Yeah, I love this. this. Is one of my favorites. Not a seat. What? How is that? That's a potato chip. <laughs> that's not a seat. Stop it. What are you guys doing? Stop Those it. Those are headers, but, but that's that's seats. Cut. Seats? Nah. Headers? Is, yeah. No, what are you doing? I'm not. I'm mad at this. I'm mad at it. Potato chip seat? <laughs> I'm not even mad at those seats. It's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. So what are you yeah, harnessed to? You're Ooh. harnessed to nothing. <laughs> You're harnessed. That's what you ship seats in. <laughs> that's like when you oh. order a pair of Recaros. That's what they come yeah. before yeah. they it's add all the parts that right. are called a seat. Right. To right. that. <laughs> We're mad. <laughs> Flexing this dude's potato chip seat. Trust me. <laughs> but you know what? If you're mad at that, just get a real <laughs> fucking seat. Or get some sour cream and onion dip and eat over something. Those seats are just Jesus. wild. Jesus. If Scotto sat in that, it would. I'm sorry, but that would break. It would probably break. I'd love to see these as a crash test. It would look like when you open up a Pringles can <laughs> after you had just gotten it out of a backpack, you know? <laughs> just, just this. Yeah. Uh -huh. You just have to eat it this way. Oh, that's I mean, that's the, the only camera. way you can. Oh, what? How do you, no, how do you, that that? No, no, no. what the how fuck are these though? No, seriously. All right, hold on. No, this, this, are this, not saving you. look, the harness Yo, moves up. the whole hold seat. Up. Hold up. Who's that, who is that narrow? Yo, <laughs> <laughs> your boy's, your boy's neck is this big. <laughs> <laughs> There's, it just, it's no nape. It just uh, goes right in. But these seats, what the f- oh. I do like this. This is nice. Look, look. I guarantee you, that you turn this so thing on, that just rattles the whole time. Uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the, the seats though. So this is my favorite car no, of SEMA. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. Rob's just talking about mustard Sorry, and ketchup. Man. It's okay, whatever, dude. So this is it right here. It's Henry J. Built by shooting for Galpin. So this is a Henry J. You don't really see a lot of them cruising around. This one's banana. Yeah, the paint, this is looking. the paint is crazy. Is this, this looks like the old, like old old Batman. One yeah. Of the cars in the old old Batman. Yeah. TV shows. I mean, the paint on this thing is 
obviously not the paint and stuff, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But as far as the shape and yeah, stuff like that, of the yeah, car, it's like an old cop car or something. Yeah, this thing is crazy. It's got fades in it. It's got smoke in it. It's got gold in it. It's pinstriped. This it's got is, panels. This is my. And this is the craziest look ever because it looks like it is heated up to get that that it's look. It's variegated you know? gold. That's how really? it is. Gold leaf. Yeah. So That's put it all insane. Over. Super cool. Yeah. It's got everything thrown at it. I mean, it's got it's got the circles on it. It's got the lace in it. It is just bananas. Even got a little bit of scales. It's even got dollar bill signs because someone dropped a bunch of money in this thing. Hey. <laughs> Hot dog did it. That's cool. Paint. House of Colors painted. Sick. And this cool little detail. Rocket fuel only. So yeah, we're definitely gonna come back. There it is. That's my favorite car. Race is finally happening, everyone can just stop. Yes, February 8th, 2019, Fairplex of Pomona. That guy's losing. Bad. This guy's gonna be whatever. We're not sure what he's gonna do. I'm driving right out of your life. You feel like we're gonna talk about it because Hurt doesn't want to talk about it because um, it's the car Hurt wishes he was building? Yeah, I'm bumping the hoods down. Can we not pop it? I feel like we know the guys we could pop it. We met oh, him the other day. So bad. We met him the other day. Oh, yeah. He's fine. He's it's down. fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. Can we just step back? Step back and look at it. All right, let's. Yeah. And I'll say that I'm just like a big hater. I love this car. I think it's beautiful. Why'd you gotta do chassis mounting? Oh, chassis mounting kills man. it a little bit for me, but the rest of it is like 10 10. This thing is great. Work Meisters. <laughs> The, right and interior. and chubby like chubbier tires. Yeah, yeah, like good which, fitment tires. Good fitment tires. And I normally don't like huge tire branding, but it looks pretty tough on there. Oh, yeah, this car is really nice. I don't love the wing, but I guess it's not that bad. I, I don't hate the wing. Kind of. I don't hate the wing. The whole styling of the car. I like the oil cooler mounted back here. Yeah. Back here it makes sense. Up yeah. front, it's in the license plate frame cutout. I'm kind of not feeling that. Yeah. I think you know what I actually do like about it though. The NACA ducks. The NACA Let's talk about that. What I do like about the oil cooler up front is that he's got an external gauge right, for so pressure. So you could start it and be like, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. We're good to go. What is this, like the 1950s? <laughs> That's like whenever I see external gauge, like what is it, a Chevelle? Yeah. Show car etiquette. I feel like he would want us to do it. Yeah, he, 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 he was wanting to tell us all about it. And that's... It's got hood struts. Yeah. So this it's thing's got a four us. rotor. And uh, I think he said that was a 4280 something. I don't know. I asked him the size. No, he was. I was like, what size is that? He was like, it's a 98. He said it's the brand new Garrett. Look at the size of that thing. Dude, gnarly. It's like, for reference, I have a huge hand. That's aircraft grade. Four rotor, air to water, intercooler. <laughs> Ron and I with the quickness. <laughs> His hood shots are garbage. Yeah, carpet fiber hood ducks. What is this piece here? This red bar, where does this go? That's like the whole like front end, man. Because he chopped oh. the whole front end out, so that's his... It's weird though, because he still has chassis rails. Does he? Yeah, yeah but this chassis know, rail hood. still comes to here. Because like, if you had a rad support, it'd be all in the way of this shit. Oh. Uh, so it's just the rad support mounted back to here. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really well done. Yeah.
to show you my favorite car here at SEMA. As you know, Brian and I have been doing the swap on our Rover with the R2.8 Cummins. And so everything off-road in Overland has been on my radar, but you guys are going to see this. Check it out. This is a Trooper! This car is so near and dear to me because I had one of the, my parents had one of these when I was a kid. And these are like all of my memories of camping and driving, going anywhere outdoors. But this thing is absolutely awesome. I'm going to meet up with the owner and see what he's done to it. This thing is Hi. Hey, Hi. Dean. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Hi. I'm the owner and he's the Max. Nice master, to meet you. Master, Ashley. Good master to meet you. Builder. Master builder. <laughs> this thing looks so great. Okay, so they were supposed to be both Toyota axles. The front is, it's a Land Cruiser FJ80. Uh huh. The back, obviously, the Land Cruiser couldn't use the actual axle because it's offset to the side because of the transfer case. Right. So, but we still use the components of the 9.5. Differential, and then but we made a custom housing to be right in the center, and we use chromoly axle shafts, and then it's just, it's just piling up. But right. it's where it's supposed to be. Yeah. We have awesome. the um, Hellfire knuckles in the front, <laughs> make it a high steer. So what motor do you have? It's a stock, stock two point it is stock. two point okay. six. That's really well. I say we're geared okay. to five five twenty nines. Okay. Yeah, locked from the back. You got 37s on that thing? Yeah. 37s, yeah. It actually, it still moves, actually moves. moves. Yeah. yeah. I am surprised. Yeah. I'm surprised. <laughs> we re geared a transfer case as well. Okay. Here, yeah. 5.2 did the wheels for you? Yeah. Did you re arc the leaf springs or anything? Or just no, they're, they're still they're, factory? They're actually, um, they're not factory. They're way longer. As you can see, they're almost like. Oh, uh, okay. Up. These are uh, 56 inches of length. We used uh, Durango. I used them before okay. my other trooper, Durango, yep. and I kind of reliefed them a little bit mm -hmm. to get that right. And it works really well, and you can see that there's actually a sway bar on top of that uh, axle yeah. that I use. Yeah, yeah, disconnectable sway. What gear ratio are you running? 529s. 529s. Adjustable shocks. Mm -hmm. Makes it ride really nice. Sternal reservoir? Yeah, yeah controllable, yeah. Well, thank you, really you guys. I really thank appreciate you, thank it. You, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Nice really meeting appreciate you. it. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Carlos' head just exploded. Yeah, this is wild. It's so Why? Clean. Because well, it's, it's a Mustang? A, it's a Ferrari motor in a Mustang. F430 motor with Nelson Racing Engine's twin mirror turbo setup. Look how wide the intercooler in, piping is. Exactly. It's at least like four inches, three and a half, exactly. four inches. But even more than that, I'm not a big, all apologies, Ed going to get in charge. I'm not a big square back Mustang fan. The but look at the chop on this chase, like the line. Yeah, no, you can see it. This totally like makes the notchback look cool, right? The chop well, on this is like perfect. No drip rails on no, it. I know. So, inset, cars, yeah, it everything's like, inset. It's been widened. Yeah. The cowl's been lengthened. Well, yeah, like, only that. It's it's smoothed in. Yeah, I know. Look at, the, look at the look at the look at the line tunnel. Oh wow! Oh, wow. I love the molding for this Completely side exit right? right here. Man, you guys are totally turning me into a geezer. <laughs> I thought it was a geezer now.
it's almost too cliche. I like, agree. I love these, man. I want one like really patinaed out though, like a black one with like really cracked paint. What year is this? Like a 62? You know this is built by the RMD guys, which are actually like in Long Beach as well. It's like built by 64. Guys, right? What? As we're reading, built by RMD. <laughs> oh really? This is built by the RMD guys. No, I was reading the thing on the front. I ain't oh, any smarter okay. than you guys. All right, all right, all right. But you know these guys are in Long Beach. Oh, really? oh that way. Yeah. That's cool. You can tell why we uh, hang out so much. Both interested in building the same caliber of cars. <laughs> oh, I walked past this. Yo, I will say one thing that bums me out. This is a shifter. The shifter. The modern I shifter. Call them. I don't know. Call them would be sick. Yeah. Call them? yeah. There's no way you get into one of these and yeah. you don't do this to yeah. get into the gear. I agree. The seats are nice though. They did a good job the on the interior. Really, nice. really cool. This pick is a little biased because I might be good friends with these guys, but this is definitely my favorite pick here at SEMA. Yeah, that thing. That thing is awesome. Tell us a little about it, but Tim. Maybe you're biased. Maybe you were friends because we built fun things. Because we like. like the yeah, same cars? Yeah, maybe that's it. it. Yeah. It started life as a GT3 RS. It did. It's, no, no. It started life as a standard 991 GT3.1. Oh. So start with just walking us around exterior yeah. real quick. I mean, th that's clearly huge changes here. The front's just as wide as the back. It's 79 and a half inches wide. So you can see where the original body line was. Uh, we, we have a 12 and a half inch wide front wheel, 13 inch wide rear wheel all different car suspension on it, but then um, you got the carbon quarters that are all kind of grafted on here. So, I mean, you can see this is all super, like, it's just to get the air over the car, get the wheels covered, but then there's carbon Kevlar tubs on the inside that protect everything from all the inside. Uh, all the ventilation in the back, you know, the bottom of the wheels in true, like, unicorn style, you can see half of the tire hanging out on the front and rear. I love that you call that unicorn style because we call it route WRC style and we stole it from WRC yeah, and we, you guys made we it appropriated cool. you guys it. Guys kind of made it like Thanks, I appreciate yeah. that. It's hard to deny the, the arrow on this car, which at 130 miles an hour, 200 kilometers an hour, produces about 14 to 1500 pounds of downforce. So we had to, you know, and a lot of that actually comes from the underbody also. So that's as smooth as a pool table all the way out. Everything else is just windowed wherever you can to get, get all the air out, you know, just instead of no. having a big parachute, it's just literally get the air out so it's not, it's reducing drag as much as possible. Because when you have such a big brick, now you gotta punch it, you have to punch a lot bigger hole in the air, so you have to be creative with how the air flows through the car. The other big major thing is, we got rid of where you typically put your groceries and put a huge ass radiator right there. So all the air comes through this, this duct that when Tony was building the car, he actually can fit through the duct. We, we fished him through there. <laughs> And so all the air comes right through here and out the top end. And then instead of having dainty little, you know, splitter that everybody's worried about, you know, we, we built something that you can you can jump on here. Otherwise, what's the purpose of downforce if you can't actually if, put it yeah, down? Yeah, if the downforce pushes it to the road, yeah, exactly. That, that's it. That's kind of it in, in a nutshell about the outside of the car. But then inside, we had to go nuts on suspension. We had to we lengthened the wheelbase by almost an inch to, to match the body work. We uh, revised all the geometry. So it has GT3R from the race car subframe. So everything's raised way high in the, in the body. But then we used cup upright so we can machine them and put the electric e-brake back in it, all this stuff. So it's got AC. It uh, still has air conditioning. Still has AC, still has uh, Navi. It has leather interior with the windows still go up and down. It's still a street it's car. It's still a street car. <laughs> what, do we, what do we got power in? Right now, it's actually just a stock GT3 engine making 485 horsepower. 
But what's slated is we're going to take it apart and we're twin turbo in this car. Oh, hell yeah. So we need 800, 900 horsepower out of it. So, and then after that, we're going to go hammer some tracks. We're going to try to get some track records with it. And we're probably going to come to your lot and try to not break something in there. Uh, we don't want to hear try. We want to hear yeah, you're going to come to the yeah, lot. Yeah. I hope it stays like this for the rest of its life. Yeah. That's, it doesn't need anything more than, it, yeah. than how this no looks paint, right no now. No nothing, just raw. No, just totally yeah. raw. The, the war pig. Race car for the street. Yeah. Beautiful project, bro. Thank Can't you. wait to see it Thank come you. shred. All right, I'm here backstage at the SEMA. We just got done doing our summer shred show, and I got a very special guest with me. Mr. Larry the Enticer. Buddy, good to meet you finally. Yeah, it's good to meet you. Yeah. Cheers. How are you? Only proper. I'm good. Larry came in with our very good friend Corey, the boss Hosford. This was a special surprise for me because this man has been sending it since been sending it. You know what? Always since day one. That's right. Down, down for denim. And you're a young man, aren't you? Yeah. How old are you? We have more. Pretty old. No, no, no. How old are you? For real. 23. Yeah. See, just this kid's a baby. Young boy. God damn, man. You don't lend to the older ladies, though. That's right. As you should be. Yeah. Now, when you're normally hunting for cougars, right? What, what's kind of the age range that you snipe for? I like my ladies from the 80s, so 30 and up. My man. <laughs> okay, give me a little breakdown on uh, on your sled there. Oh, she's a she's a mean machine. Okay, what's her name? What do you guys call her? It's called the old ET. The old ET. Okay, now yeah. what is the old ET? 80, 79 Yamaha Enticer. Okay. Okay. And, uh, it's pretty much all stock. Hello, Harry. How are you? I like the smell of you too. Thanks. I like turbo so. uh, <laughs> I know. I like, little, I like a little bit of suspension too. Yeah, that's always nice. <laughs> now, have you ridden one of those snowmobiles? Hell no. <laughs> Never? I've been snowmobiling a couple years. <laughs> well, hey, anytime you want to take it for a spin, <laughs> it's always run. I mean, it looks like it slides pretty good though. Yeah. yeah. It's not much track. I like that sliding. Though. Yeah, no studs. That's for girls in my opinion. But, you know. Man, so what kind of power are we making with the old ET? Oh, wow. Like 69 horse, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Never Perfect. really been on the dyno, but... At 4,200 RPM. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Exactly. What's that thing rev up to? 6,900 RPM. All right, perfect. Oh, man, I'm oh. yeah. These He's a fast machine. These are numbers we like to hear. Yeah, there's uh, not many numbers actually uh, known with the OET, but just okay. know that it likes to pop, likes to get sent. How many times have you cased that thing? Pretty Can you much. Count? Haven't made a jump yet, so. Okay. Every time. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, there's only one thing we got left to do here. You ready to send it down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> what are we gonna do, Larry? Just gonna send it. Okay, All right. Yo, 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 yo. Mercedes produced a limited line of cars called Black Series. It's like BMW's M cars. They're super exclusive, super rare, super expensive. This is a CLK 63 AMG Black Series that's been converted to a drive car. Unbelievable. The goal is a six second quarter mile to be the what? fastest Mercedes. They want to get into the sixes with this thing. I mean, yeah, you got the big old meats on they the back, the big bead meats. locks ready to rock, I but. I think they're running a nine inch rear end, monster, monster motor. Twin turp skis, the whole the whole deal. I like the way they do the the single intake mantle for the single intake runners, but super super cool. You know, uh. six second CLK AMG Black Series. So this is 100% my favorite car of SEMA. Fabric that is put into. Come look at this. Look at all the bracing in the back of this. Oh, sorry. I'm talking to you guys. Yeah. Look. Look at that. It is just. Bracing central, diagonals on diagonals all over the place, and the suspension setup is beautiful. 
but even more so, even the chair is a fabricated component. Nerds. Yeah, I am getting full nerd out. And it's got a sequential transmission in it. Beautiful freaking interior. Everything is this car is just so immaculate. Disgusting. All clean. The cool thing is, check out the side exit exhaust. Yeah, that's rad. You have to see the headers. We're going to cut to that tomorrow. And you'll be able to see how ridiculous the headers are. There's, I, I, all the runners are at least five feet long. Damn. Coming yeah. down, and that's just like in the engine bay. Yeah, it's kind of insane. It's one of the craziest exhaust systems I've ever seen. And the best thing about it is, it's a young guy, and he built yeah. it on the side of his mom's house. He said, <laughs> yeah. "What? Or in the garage or something? This so is not this a is shop like, build. This immaculate, beautiful piece of work is pure passion, right here." Yeah, a hundred percent built by passion the whole time, man. Then so just like someone that wanted to create something sick. I it's different. This, I support this being your favorite car. Yeah, a hundred percent. He co-signed uh, for it. And it's got all vibrant stuff on it, man. Yeah. Everything is vibrant. We Whoa, man. Yeah, right? You get a glimpse of that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is definitely altered because like this scoop, this power bulge is usually like right there. <laughs> yeah. So well, it's moved. The crazy thing is the motor is... Set up, back. Is, the motor there. is 20 inches further back. Okay, that makes sense why this looks... It's so wild. Yeah. You like the it? paint is even oh, just like absolutely gorgeous. So I really like this kit. I think they did a really good job with it. This is the Pandem kit? Yeah. Like wow, okay. It looks really good. Damn. Yeah, it's cool. And again, always bronze TEs look sick. Yeah. Like this just like really came together, right? Yeah, and shout out to the boys Global Time Attack. Is they this, maybe this dude actually drives this, this thing? Dude, it's cool. It's got nice tin work, ducting for a V-mount. It's just like really simple and clean. Yeah, I dig this. Looks like a 944, so I like it. <laughs> I, this is like one of the better pandem kits that's oh, come out. I, I think they did a really, really good job on that. Choice. He all he does is fart. He tries yeah. to keep leaving us. This is my favorite car at SEMA. <laughs> This is a Evasives S2000. They've had this for a while. This is version four of their build now with a brand new, HKS's brand new supercharger kit. First one, 
uh, always Skyken 7 speeds is sequ sequential, their newest model, and obviously the Voltex Type 2 kit, which is, this is also, I think there's only two right now, but handmade, all handmade carving. Like, this kit's probably gonna cost like 20 grand when you can buy it. Just look at all of the diffusion. Like, this isn't a kit for you stance kids. This is a kit for like <laughs> real race cars, like people with experience. And this is this is like the real deal. Like, this is a race kit that hopefully only goes on race cars. Yeah. Yeah. Like all like it's all wind tunnel tested. Everything is the size that it is for a reason on this kit. Look at you. Never see this. This isn't just like skirts for the sake of having skirts. This is like. Just, this is just, real aerodynamics. Just time lapse this at, whole thing because he's finest. just gonna, oh, sorry, he's just gonna talk about it. Four, five hundred, six hundred. Well, beautiful, nice pick. It's a beautiful car. <laughs> Look at the. <laughs> no, it really is. <sighs> Thank you, I appreciate. it. All right, let's go. Have you ever seen a wheel and then you want to do a build yeah. based around the wheel? Yeah. Because I'm kind of feeling that about this thing right now. What would you put that on? Some sort of like early 90s era rally car like group a style oh, okay i was gonna say 190 kazi like I, oh I buy a 190 my god kazi yes i like that i like this lot. too this like do they actually make that with the red and blue i don't know That's but great. it's up to you because look it's only on with allen bolts so yeah you can kind of get your own fades going get your own ring going at hand our rooftop tent rice oh. <sighs> they're everywhere they are everywhere not if you use them yeah and there's literally in the background there's two rooftop tents they're and i'm everywhere. sure they are everywhere this year they I are mean, the new trend i just got one and i'm excited to use it hold but on I feel like the trend hold on is super... raise your hand if you have a rooftop tent yeah yeah oh look there's another one I love everything about this here 911 RSR. I mean, about the favorite, the best thing about this car. Well, there's a lot of best things about this car, Benny, but, but the simplest best thing is just what comes from the use. Like this is the grossest. So that's my favorite thing. Shrapnel. That's my favorite thing about it. That's yeah. exactly it. Because yeah. SEMA is so much about cars that aren't used at all. They're just built to just throw a bunch of parts on right. and be an ad. And this thing, this came straight off the track like this. Like these are actual tire marks. Not some wrap that someone put on to make it look like it went on the track once when it didn't. Like, tire marks on the roof. Yeah, that's thing insane. Fully shredded. Also, fully shredded. The yo, are these, mo Dude, are they're these motocross tearaways? They're tearaways. Stop it. 100%. How does that even work? 100 bucks to tear it off right now. Like, I know when you, like, when you're doing it, when oh, Jeremy McGrath's doing a knack knack, rips his <laughs> off. And you're like, that's sick. How do you do that in a car? I mean, you have a pit crew for that. Oh, I so think, you gotta pit I in. Think, yeah, it's not to, like a mid You can't lap really thing. like reach out from there. Oh god, it's just so good. Yes, thank you, Vinny. Wow, this door, Dude, this door everything. weighs absolutely nothing. Look at the the door handle has safety yellow on it, so you know like if there's smoke or fire or whatever. Purpose built. Nothing has a frivolous reason. No, oh, dude, look at this rear like NACA duct right there. Some kind of crazy engine louvers. What is this for? If you're in an accident and pinned together, you could get out the roof. Oh wow, maybe. 
but it's like bolted down. Is it? I don't know. Comment it's... below if you know uh, if you know what this little escape hatch thing no, is. No, there's no way you can get out that. No. I just love that all race cars are 10 footers, right? Yeah. So from 10 feet away, they look amazing, and then you start getting close, and it's like the gaps are all crazy. It's all over the place. It's but all I, like laid up carbon fiber and stuff. Right. It's not like, you know, OEM paneling and stuff. And I love that because yeah. all that matters yeah. is going fast. And look at this. It's grass. It's actual grass from the track. I'm kind of curious as to what track this is from right now. Amazing. Also, fun fact, sticker instead of a badge for max weight savings. How often does this happen? Three dudes all wearing Adidas. I feel like they never like stripe game. It's usually all vans. It's usually all vans. What's happened? So that's it. <laughs> it's the SEMA special. I hope you've watched the whole hour of it. I hope you enjoyed everything we had to show you. And now, 